Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video guys, uh, we'll be working on a Chevy. So if you have a Chev Chevy or GMC vehicle guys, and you're trying to locate your front crash airbag sensor, stay with us guys and we'll explain where you can find them. Now, quick introduction guys, we'll have more than 200 videos on every car we get at the shop. Why? Because our mission guys here at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. So please guys in return subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. All the tools and parts guys that we use in our videos or for our cars, you can see the link in the description of the video below guys. That's where we order everything from. So let's go ahead, start on it and show you where the airbag sensors, front crash airbag sensors are located on Chevy or most Chevy or GMC vehicles. So on most guys Chevy or GMC vehicles, you can expect to find the front crash impact sensor guys somewhere usually behind the front bumper on some models guys you may need to uh, remove the front bumpers and you may have only one single sensor in the middle especially older vehicles on newer vehicles you may have two sensors usually uh, position on driver side and passenger side of the vehicle now many of them guys nowadays okay are super easy to reach and i'll show you why like this chevy cruise guys many of them use that design check it out now this is your radiator support upper radiator support and looking at this side now guys you can definitely see where the crash impact airbag sensors are located okay right here guys you can see that's where they are uh, this is the uh, the front left driver side this is the front right passenger side now i'll explain guys how to remove those things as well not very complicated at all so we will explain how what you need to do otherwise guys you will not know because that's a little bit tricky guys and we'll explain that but first what we need to do first guys we need to go ahead and disconnect our car battery why because i would recommend to disconnect the car battery at least one hour before we mess with the airbag system and if you're not qualified and certified guys do not do the repair this is just an entertaining video, not a how-to video, but we show you how we do it on our vehicles. But if you're not qualified, guys, don't do it because airbags can kill you. So we'll go ahead and show you how to remove that uh, front crash impact sensor now. So our car battery, guys, has been disconnected. That's the two that we'll be using. It's called reverse torque socket. Okay, this one right here. Let me focus quick. Perfect. Uh, you can find the tools that we use guys in the description of the video below or you can see where you can get some uh, sensors from now uh, interesting fact about that do not get it loose all the way okay and we'll explain why so i'm going to go ahead okay and start getting it loose now check it out now i'm going to turn it okay and let me show you how much you need to remove that thing now not very much by the way I'm going to support the camera here. Now, we still need to go more, okay? But it's important, guys, not to remove the screw all the way. Why? Because it's actually screwing in at that point, and you don't want it to fall inside. So, I'm going to go just a little bit more to where we still have some thread left. Okay, like that. And let me see now. You're going to slide it, okay, slide it and lift it up like that to come out it still needs a little bit more okay let me check now perfect slide it and come out guys what i'm talking about now check it out on the back side right here that's how the screw is okay you see the screw sticks out that screw goes in this hole right here and it slides in the canal and that's where it gets tight so that's where you need to install it and get it tight later how you disconnect it that red thing guys now you need to push it all the way to the back okay so let me actually support the camera quick here and i do it with two hands okay like that now press in here on the back side and disconnect it and you can see guys this is the front crash airbag sensor out of the way that's that thing right here now guys okay that that screw right there that's the one that goes in the canal if you need to buy one we'll have the links where you can purchase one again so putting it together practically in reverse order we took it apart you have to make sure 100 percent that it's installed where it is connect the wire the safety red clip as well push it in and let it reconnect the battery and stay out of the way the first time you start the car make sure nothing blows up in your face guys so thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time